let's set up a scene in Houdini for look development. So the first thing that we're going to do um, that or that I do is I go to Windows, New Floating Panel, and I will drag this to my second monitor. And uh, you have to click Maximize Pane for it to work. So if you switch this to uh, a Redshift Render View, um, and and you want it to work. Uh, having two panels open, just make sure that you uh, click Maximize Pane. That's also, you know, that's why we're using Houdini um, in the first place. Uh, the second thing, the second option that you could do in if you were working on one monitor is to split this pane left or right or top and bottom. So you have um, a render view and a, uh, uh, a camera view. Let's add a camera here so, you know, we have our, uh, our render view of our camera and our uh, scene view over here. So the next thing that uh, would be helpful is if uh, we had a composition grid. There's uh, no, I don't think there's a built-in way to do this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, there is a... Uh, HDA that we can download by Dyn Studios and they have a, a HDA library called Dylib. So you can go to their website here and um, download the zip file, unzip it, um, and you can install the uh, their library using a JSON file or what I tend to like to do is um, I have in my in my documents uh, Houdini version. Um, I have uh, you have the environment file, and in there you can add this line to tell it to scan a a folder for HDAs. Um, and it will open those. And so sometimes, I, rather than installing via JSON file, I will just copy the HDAs I want into this folder, and they will run with uh, the next time I start Houdini. So, um, just yeah, that's that's what I would recommend is going to you know your your downloads, uh, unzipping the file, going in here. Um, Here's the JSON if you want to install it that way, or like I said, just copy these to a folder that you create um, and refer to in your Houdini environment variable. So once you've installed those, uh, they will be available to you. So now I can say die composition guides, and this is the HDA. Um, it's automatically set to use camera one. You can set that to any camera click enable guides and you see we have uh, grids uh, that now pop up for our camera view which is uh, whoops let me for our camera view which is super helpful uh, for composing shots um, they have a lot of options to modify the uh, the guides um, which is just yeah really great resource um, and it will automatically adapt to changing the um, aspect ratio of your camera. Um, so the next thing that we can do, we have our, our composition guide set up and our uh, render and scene views set up. Again, this could be on a different monitor by using a new floating uh, panel. Um, and sometimes it's helpful just to get rid of things. So if you just want to see what you're what you're working on. Um, uh, then you can turn off the uh, um, reference grid. And then the next thing you might want to do, um, whoops, uh, the next thing you might want to do is, so so for me, sometimes when I'm working uh, in with my other monitor, um, seeing stuff on the sides is not uh, ideal or what I want. So I'm going to press uh, D to open up the display options and go to camera, the camera tab, 
and uh, turn the view mask opacity all the way up so that I know uh, this is all blocked off and I'm only seeing what uh, my camera sees. So that is uh, the way that I like to set that up um, so I can focus on what's in the frame. Um, that is pretty much everything. Um, just, just those quick, those quick tips, uh, for setting up your, uh, scenes to do look development in Houdini. Uh, I think it's, um, just something where you, you need, you need to know a couple little tricks to make it work optimally. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to keep this really quick. So yeah, you can download, I'll, I'll link the, uh, composition guides HDA. It's free. Um, for you to download and then uh, just yeah remember that you can split the pane or create a new floating panel uh, maximize pane enable that setting uh, and um, then yeah you uh, can turn off your uh, reference grid and um, access your display options by pressing the D key and changing the opacity of the uh, view mask to one is what I prefer to do. Um, yeah, that's everything. So um, hope that is helpful for you as you're doing some cool look dev in Houdini. And I will catch you in the next video. The file will be on Patreon. Bye.